Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here. Welcome to Supersize Your Business. And we're talking about contribution idioms for the month of July. And it turns out that contribute to or contribute to something is actually an idiom. It's from the 1520s. It actually comes from the Latin word contributus. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I don't speak Latin. But it means to give or to add value or to be a factor or a catalyst for a particular event or occurrence or to add your input to something. So, how do we make the world a better place? Let's talk about seven ways that you can make donations as well as 10 giving guidelines. I think we'll talk about the giving guidelines first because I thought this was kind of a fun list. So, number one, do your research on the charity. Check out the charity and um, you could check in with charity recommendations. There's sites now, thank you internet, that you can research and find out information about different charities and different organizations you might want to contribute time, money, or energy to. Uh, number two, so do your research, just like anything else we do in life. We ought to look into it a little bit before we date someone, before we get in a business partnership with somebody, before we buy from a vendor or a supplier. We ought to do a little bit of homework and research on them. Number two, pick charities that are and have research-based strategies. Charities that want to make the world a better place. Or match your goals and objectives and the things that you want to instill in the world with the charities that you give time, money, or energy to. Number three, if you wanna maximize your donations and your funds and your time and energy, donate to poor countries. Poorer countries mean our dollars or our investments go further. Uh, number four, consider giving to animals. Animals need help too. Number five, if you give locally, remember you can still consider the impact of the things you give your time, money, and energy to. And I'm a huge believer in taking care of the people at home, taking care of the people in your own backyard, taking care of your family, friends, relatives, and then other people for causes that you care about, and start where you are. Start in your local area and expand out. Uh, number six, consider uh, Meta Charities. Now, I had never heard of Meta Charities because I have charities and, do and, and causes that I have cared about for a long time but it turns out there are these meta charities one I think is giving well where you can contribute your money and it goes to a, a, a bunch of different funds it's kind of like creating a fund that donates to different charities and a whole group of charities I think one is malaria one is the Hen Helen Keller Foundation things like that uh, so you can investigate those and if you're not sure where to donate your money if you like the causes that they donate to and I think you can even decide how much of what you donate goes to each of the different type of charities in that fund or mega charity or meta not mega meta charity like the metaverse uh number seven saving lives isn't everything it's not the only way to make the world a better place right yes yeah, saving lives is awesome but there's a lot of other ways to donate your time money and energy to give number eight don't give to big charities now <clears throat> i i guess i'll share a personal story with this Following my sudden cardiac arrest, I got involved with the Heart Association, right? The American Heart Association. And I learned that like many giant big charities, very little of the money actually goes to the causes that they are saying they want to fix. Cancer Society, uh, diabetes, my, my sister said the rosacea. There's a society for everything, right? There's a charity for everything. Uh, Goodwill. Goodwill serves a purpose, but it's very uh, debatable whether it's a charity or not, right? They make lots of money in Goodwill, and who knows, and some are really transparent, but it seems like the bigger the organization, the less transparent it is with respect to where the money actually goes. In the bigger charities, a lot of it is for structure and administration and systems and fundraising and collecting money and... You know, there's a certain percentage by law, but it's a very small percentage by law that has to be donated in the way that the organization says it's donating it. And we've all seen foundations by many political leaders that are absolutely positively not going to the things that we expect them to when we're donating our money. So I agree with this. Uh, really scrutinize any big charity that you're giving money to. I do not consider politicians a charity at least not in my opinion, because very few of them are making the world a better place. Uh, number nine, maybe just give your money to poor people in your area. Maybe donate to your local food shelf. Maybe 
give money to people that are, you know, panhandling in your area. You know, your gut, your instinct tells you whether somebody really needs the money or they're one of these rings in the in the Twin Cities. I live by Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the Twin Cities, there's actually rings of people that go out, kind of like drug dealers. They put people out on the streets to collect money and take a cut of it. It's crazy. I never would have believed something like that could happen. And then number 10, give what you can. Start now, give a little, and as you make more, you can give more and share more of your time, your money, and your energy. So what are seven ways that you can make donations? Number one, you can just write a check, right? I will admit the fastest, easiest way to make a donation for me is to just write a check or give merchandise to something. Uh, number two, you can give online. There's all kinds of online charities now. Again, you have to do your research because you want to make sure what you're giving is actually going to where it says it is and it isn't just a shell or scam. Uh, number three, you can give through donor-advised funds, kind of like giving well. Number four, set up a private or family foundation. And actually, for the annual challenge, the BU365 Day Challenge, that's the that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm, we're on the O and the SO framework, and we're looking at options. But I realized that my donations, my contribution, and what I add to the world is really sporadic in a lot of areas, especially in the area of contribution and giving and donations. And I want to make that more intentional and more long lasting to leave more of a legacy with respect to it. So I'll probably set up either a private or a family foundation. That's what I'm doing. And and I again it's option days. So we're doing 1031 picking options, but I it's I'm leaning toward that because that was my initial idea. Uh, number five, join a giving circle or how about create a giving circle? Number ten or number ten. Number six, um, you can donate your card, food, any clothing, anything that you're not using anymore. I'm doing that all the time because I'm always recycling and going through stuff. And then number seven, give up your time. So contribute to something and how does that help your business grow? Because people want to do business with people that they like, right? People that they care about, people that they trust, people that they think are good stewards and citizens of the world and of their communities for sure. So. Anything that we do that positively reflects on us, and don't just give because you want it to look good. Give because you believe, and give to the things that you believe make the world a better place. Love to know your contribution strategy. Does your business have one? Uh, my business has one, but like I said, on a personal level, I've never combined and figured out a way to make it automatic. It's always been this, 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 or this, and so... I want it to be, especially as I get older and more and more organizations start hitting you up. I look at my mom. My mom probably gets six to ten contacts a day, maybe more, because she doesn't look at them all, especially through email and things, to give money to the causes and things. And I want to make sure that I've got it set up so that I can just say no to all that because I've already got what I want to be working for me and my businesses in place. All right, share in the comments below your experience with uh, contribution and how your business makes the world a better place. And I will be with you tomorrow with another contribution-related idiom for the month of July. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, have an absolutely awesome day.